Hi everyone, I have a few channeled messages. So the one of the main messages I keep getting, and I'm gonna do another video on this later. I wanna do this reading first. I'm probably gonna be posting the other video around the same time, if not by Wednesday morning at the latest. So check back for that. But one of the messages I'm getting is that somebody needs to be a little bit more careful with their health. I'm feeling something about maybe a uh, heavy drinking it could be drug use it could be somebody not sticking to a diet i feel like when they get stressed out maybe they binge eat or they eat things that are just unhealthy they might be um i feel like they might be eating i don't want to say too much meat but there might be something that somebody's eating that's just not resonating with their body basically is what i'm feeling now, this could play out in a number of different ways, but basically the message I was getting is that somebody needs to be mindful of their health, and I was also getting a message about someone kind of going on a bit of a downward spiral, and they're in their head a lot, and they're fighting themselves. Somebody who's really at war with themselves right now, and they're stressing themselves out, and the stress is somebody needs to, to just kind of relax and ground themselves. Just try to go be out in nature, even if it's just by yourself. Just try to go to the beach or go to the woods. Just do something to, to ground yourself, to center yourself, to cleanse yourself, to just take a break. Somebody's just kind of running on empty. This could be somebody that's overworking. They just, they have a lot on their plate and they're just going, going, going. And they, they need to, they need to slow down a bit. They need to relax they need to because it feels like this person isn't really resting. Whoever I'm picking up on, it feels like even when they're by themselves, even when they're just, you know, watching Netflix or just taking a nap, it's like they're not actually really resting because they're still in their head. They're still going in. They're still going around in circles. I just get this energy of a lot of tension. Somebody's at just fighting themselves on something. It's it's. Yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty intense energy that I'm picking up on and I feel like these these mental issues could eventually become physical issues if they're not addressed early on just because the stress someone under is just too much. So someone needs to ground themselves, just just try to do something relaxing, just try to have a day where you just just meditate, just get out of your head for at least a day or so. Try to find that balance. But anyway, I'm going to do another reading on that. So I don't want to get too deep into that right now because I am going to look more into that. I'm sure there's there's more messages that come with that and more advice that comes with that. So check back on my channel for that reading as well. But the the message that I wanted to put out there, which seems even more urgent because I'm just, I was trying to take a nap and it's like my spirit guides were just not letting me take a nap. I kept channeling this energy again and again and again. So I almost feel like maybe someone in this energy group is about to hang out with this person that I'm picking up on. Maybe you had plans with them within the next few days. Um, for some reason, it just seems urgent that I put this message out there. And I do feel, I feel like this message that I'm, that I'm, that I've been picking up on, I do feel a masculine energy with it. So I do feel like this is primarily for men that are on my channel, but I do feel like if you're identifying, if you're a woman and you're identifying with the masculine energy, I feel like this could be for you too. You know, don't, don't get caught up on gender. If I say it's for men, but you're, you know, if you identify as both, or if you identify as a woman, you know, whatever it might be, if you feel like this message is for you, if this is resonating with you, then it could be your energy group, even if you're not male. So I just want to put that out there, even if it is, you know, 80 or 90% um, men that are going to be in this energy group. But anyway, so the energy that I've been picking up, I feel like, and I'm going to pull more cards to get more details, but there's, there's a girl that I'm channeling and the energy I get from her, I feel like she's somebody that kind of got a sense of her personality. So I'm about, and and a little bit about physical appearance, but it's, it, again, there's multiple people in this energy group, so it's going to vary for each person. But the visual that I got, you know, the the main woman that I'm channeling in this message, at least, or the, the main um, person that's coming through, I'm about five feet tall, and I, I got the sense that this woman is probably about like five, two, five, three. She's a little bit taller than me. The energy I got from her is I feel like she's somebody who's very insecure, really wants to be liked. Um, she doesn't have a strong sense of self. 
I feel like she's a little bit fake. I feel like she's very agreeable. And I got the sense that she's a very different person behind closed doors. She really cares a lot about her image. I also feel, I don't know if it's depression or if it's just, she doesn't really seem like, I don't know if depression is the right word, but the energy I got from this girl is she just doesn't really have much passion for life. Like, I, I don't feel like this person has too many things that she's really that passionate about. I feel like she just kind of wants to be comfortable. But yeah, very agreeable, a little bit fake, goes along with the crowd. And I feel like, I feel like she's also the, like I said, when, when I say that she's agreeable, I almost feel like she is a type of person that will, if you like baseball, she likes baseball. If you don't like somebody, she doesn't like that person either. It, it's like she, she doesn't really have a strong sense of self. So she just kind of goes along with what other people say or do. She's just kind of trying to, to survive, trying to get by, trying to be comfortable. So it's one of those things. It's like, and, and that's what I mean by her being fake. If, if there's something that she actually really is interested in, and like there, if there's a hobby that she wants to pursue, but it seems weird or it seems out there or she doesn't have support for it, she'll pretty much just keep it to herself. But if there's a hobby that all her friends are pursuing, like let's say all her friends want to pursue dancing, um, even if she hates dancing, she'll she'll pursue it with them just to be part of the crowd, just to kind of go along with the flow. She's it, it's like she she just doesn't know who she is, so she just kind of tries to blend in with people. Um, but I was getting a warning about this woman, and I don't feel like she's evil. I don't feel like this is somebody who's just you know super manipulative and horrible. I do feel like she's a little manipulative, but I feel like she's somebody who's kind of learned to be that way to survive. But I, I did get a warning though that this person is how do I explain this energy? I just get the sense of her reading you and studying you, but it it doesn't it feels toxic. There's there feels like there's something off about it. It it doesn't seem and and this wouldn't I don't feel like this is somebody that you just met. I don't feel like this would be somebody new because the energy that I was channeling from this is I feel like this is somebody that you have a history with just because what I was picking up is that this is somebody who really knows you. This is somebody who knows your patterns. They know the way you think. They know your fears. They know your weaknesses. They know a lot about you. So, I mean, I suppose this could be somebody new. If you, if you're, if you t post a lot on social media, like if you have just all your stuff out there, you know, if you post like these, these long rants and you post, um, if you just wear your heart on your sleeve, then yeah, this this could potentially be somebody new. But for most of you, I, f I feel like this is somebody who's just had the chance to study you over time. And I, like it, it could be, and I feel like it's somebody who's in your environment. Like this doesn't seem like somebody who's, this doesn't seem like somebody who's necessarily blocked from you. I feel like either you guys have mutual friends and then the friends report back to this person or this could be a housekeeper. This could be a nanny. I feel like this is, it just, I get the sense of, of somebody who's around you, somebody that you have history with, somebody that, that knows you pretty well. And I feel like, and that's, that's the, that's the toxic energy I'm feeling. Like I said, I don't feel like this woman is necessarily a horrible person, but I feel like she is kind of a weak minded person and, and not having that strong sense of self too. I feel like she just, it's kind of like I'm seeing that scene from coming to America. You know, the, the for, you guys ever watched that movie coming to America, you know, the first scene where, um, Eddie Murphy is introduced to one of his potential brides and she's like, I like whatever you like. And you know, she's, he tells her to hop on one foot and she does it, whatever she, whatever she he says, she just goes ahead and does it. She doesn't have her own, she doesn't have a strong personality and he knows that that's not what he's looking for. So that's kind of the energy that I'm getting from this person is just, just very agreeable, very goes with the crowd kind of energy. And the, the toxic thing I, I feel about is I feel like she's been studying you and she sees the type of girl that you like, or it's either the type of girl that you like, or it might be someone specific that you're interested in that you've talked to her about. Like you might say, hey, I'm really in love with this girl who's, um, you know, super adventurous and creative, or I'm, I'm in love with this girl who's, uh, I, I'm hearing a flight attendant, that might be for somebody, 
um, I'm in love with this girl who's just, you know, like, like you're, you're telling her about, you might be telling her about this. This could be somebody that you're friends with and you've like told her about, you know, somebody that you're interested in, or it could also just be, cause I feel like she knows what your type is. So either you've told her or she's found out through other people, or maybe she's just observed it throughout. Like if you guys have known each other a long time, she might've just seen the type of girls that you've gone after and that you resonate with. And so she's trying to pretend to be that. And that's where this warning comes in is that she's not that person. She's, she's not your ideal person. She's not somebody that you would resonate with, but she's, she's basically just, she's, well, let me see. Let me, let's see, let's see with the cards, but that's, that's what the energy that I picked up so far. She's trying to be this other person. She's trying to be your ideal type. Or if you're in love with somebody else and you're telling her about this person, she's trying to slowly manipulate you and convince you that she's just like this person that you're in love with. So let's say that you're in love with someone creative and this girl doesn't even really have a creative side. She's going to suddenly be telling you that she's, you know, taking art classes or she's doing things that she wouldn't normally do. And, and I feel like, you know, too, like, I feel like you'll kind of sense that this isn't genuine. But it's, it's almost like I feel like this girl is, I feel like she's changing her technique because I get a little bit of an energy of, maybe like a little bit of a frustrated energy because I feel like, I feel like this girl might have made hints that she's into you and I feel like you've just, like it hasn't been talked about, like you just tried to kind of brush it under the rug because you didn't. Like you, you, you might've felt it a little bit, but you weren't sure, but you kind of didn't want to deal with it. So I feel like this girl is changing her approach to get your attention, but it, it's just, it, it's, it's just toxic though, because it's like, you don't really want someone like that. You want someone that knows, you want someone who's going to be themselves around you. You want someone who's going to want to show you who they truly are. And I feel like this guy or this girl, I feel like she also has hidden motives too. I don't feel like it's just love for her. I feel like it's, well, let me see. Let me, let's see what the cards say. That's just what I channeled so far because I was just laying there and I kept picking up the energy again and again and again. I'm like, okay, fine. Like I'm going to have to do this reading, I guess. That's why I'm saying it felt, it felt urgent. So I'm, I'm feeling like probably someone was going to, someone in this energy group, again, there's at least a few of you that are, that this message is for, but somebody in this energy group, I feel like maybe you were going to hang out with her this week or something like that. And it's kind of giving you a heads up. Great fortune false person. Yeah, some of them they want expectation. Yeah, some of them want are in poverty and they're they see that you have money or they see that you have abundance. And so they're pretending. You see this woman is like kind of she's hiding her face. It's like she's she's pretending. Unexpected, yeah. Someone's wanting unexpected income. Somebody, this could be somebody with a child as well. And I do want to say too, but just before I go any further, I do want to say like, use your intuition. If this is somebody, because there's a, there's a drastic energy difference between somebody trying to find things in common with you and trying to you know, get to know you and maybe impress you a little bit. Like if it's early on that, you know, that makes sense. Not, I don't think that anyone should change their opinions or pretend to be something that they're not. But if someone's like trying to find like a common ground, you know, they're trying to find, you know, common interests to talk about because they want to get to know you better. There's nothing wrong with that. But th this isn't that energy that I'm picking up on. This is, this isn't like somebody new. This feels more like somebody that you've known for a while who, who has studied you for a while, they know all your patterns. And, um, and yeah, I just, I just get the sense that they, it's like, if, if, if they, they won't, they'll be, they'll be a different person with everybody. This person. Okay. So I cannot diagnose personality disorders, like just full disclosure. Like I, you know, I, I can't legally diagnose personality disorders. But I am kind of feeling the energy of borderline personality disorder for somebody here. It does, it does feel like that's, 
again, not diagnosing anybody, but there, there could, for someone in this energy group, that's, that's a, that's a possibility. Um, let's see here. Oh, and yeah, I also just wanted to say that, that it's really important to use your discernment here. If you, if you have a nanny or you have a housekeeper and you've never felt this vibe from her, don't go fire her tomorrow because of this reading. You know what I mean? Like if you would, you would know, I feel like you would intuitively, cause I'm getting the sense that this woman has tried to come on to you. I don't know if she's necessarily come like full like fully on to you but I feel like this is somebody who's hinted around things like oh maybe we could go to the movies next week and they bat their eyelashes at you and you're like uh maybe I'm kind of busy um or something of that sort you know what I mean like you you see the signs this isn't some you know like there's you you would have felt this energy for a while you would have intuitively your spirit guides would have been trying to let you know about this that something is off with this person so really use your discernment here but child privileged lady official person yeah for some this person has a child and they want they, they feel like they're basically seeing you you're in this position of power and they they want that financial security that stability um that support system for themselves and their child courthouse wealthy some of you need to be really careful honestly actually because these cards more and more are pointing to this this man's money we have wealthy man we have courthouse so it's almost like Like, I feel like somebody, this is probably just for one of you in this energy group, but somebody might, ooh, okay, okay, I see, I see what I'm getting here. Okay, so this is not for the majority of you, this is only for one person in this energy group, but for for someone, if this is like your baby mama pretty much, um, or your, I guess that sounds kind of ratchet saying it like that, if this is, you know, your ex-wife, whatever, whatever, what have you, um, I, I feel like this person might be trying to get information on you to take you to court. And I kind of feel like it's one of those situations where this woman is kind of bitter and she's like, you know what, you're either going to love me and my, like, she does love you in her own toxic way, but it's one of those situations where she's like, you're either going to love me and my child and you're going to financially support us, or I'm going to dig up dirt on you and I'm going to take you to court and I'm going to get child support from you. But either way, like she's, she's determined that she's going to get something out of you either one way or the other. And I do want to say, like, don't feel discouraged either because I feel like some of you, well, I'm going to, I'm going to pull some more cards too on like the subconscious patterns, but I was getting that I needed to, the, the energy I was getting before I even put this message out there, just what I was channeling, what my spirit guides were showing me is that somebody needs to, um, they, they need to kind of take responsibility for themselves for their role in this because I feel like somebody might get this information and they might just kind of go into this like eight of swords energy, like downward spiral kind of energy. You know, everyone's out to get me. I always attract toxic people. What's the point of putting myself out there? What's the point of making new friends? But I, your spirit guides wanted to say something about that. And I'm going to pull after I get more into this, but but they, they kind of want you to, to use your discernment and start using your intuition and see how you've been self-sabotaging. Because I'm getting the energy of somebody who it's like you trust all the wrong people, but they're people that actually do have your back. It's like you don't really, sometimes you don't trust them. It's like you don't know who to trust anymore. But it's it's almost like somebody, like I feel like the men in this energy group, it's like you have um, maybe like insecurities and like a lot of like subconscious programming and subconscious patterns that you've been repeating and so I feel like, what is it called? Is it, is it, is it confirmation bias? I might be using the wrong term, but basically it, it's when you subconsciously look for things that match what you're feeling internally. So it's like, if you have like that insecurity or you feel like people can't be trusted, if you feel like everyone's toxic, it's kind of like you're manifesting that it's like, you're aligning with that in a way. And then, you know, you, you put everything like you really trust and open up to these people that can't be trusted and then when they hurt you or they let you down it, it's kind of like it, it like confirms your your inner beliefs you're like oh yeah I knew that was going to happen you know what I mean and it's like you have to see how you're rolling that you have to see how you're how you're sabotaging yourself because your spirit guides are really trying to I feel like somebody's been an eight of swords energy an eight of swords traditionally um in the in the Rider weight tarot deck it's somebody who has eight swords around them. It's somebody who has eight swords around them. 
And they're so focused on the swords that they're not seeing that they have their castle right in front of them. It's somebody who's like on the ground. I think they're on the ground, I want to say. But but anyway, they're like they're in this circle and they're so focused on the sword, which is representative of, you know, their their traumas, their their negative belief systems, um, especially, you know, subconscious belief systems, too, you know, because that's that it feels like for this energy group, it's it's the subconscious that you're. Your, your, what you want in your conscious mind are kind of at war with your subconscious mind right now. And again, I'm going to get more into that in another reading because that, that kind of goes along with making sure you don't set yourself up for more health issues, you know, mentally or physically down the line. So I'm going to do that reading again um, shortly. So check my channel for that. But anyway, it, it's somebody who's surrounded by all these swords, but if they just get up, there's an opening right there. And right in front of them, you can see in the distance, there's a castle, there's, you know, money, love, abundance, everything they could ever want. But they're so focused on, you know, the past, on traumas, on what they've been through that they can't see that, that their dreams have manifested. Their dreams are right in front of their face. And this is that kind of energy that I'm picking up here. And I think your spirit guides don't want you to stay in that energy. They want you to... They, they want you to recognize the abundance and the love that's around you and the support that's around you. They want you to take accountability and recognize how you maybe have been sabotaging yourself because they don't want you to keep repeating these patterns. They want you to trust them. They want you to develop and use your intuition. And, you know, when you develop your intuition, it's a process. Like sometimes you do still get things wrong. You know, even the best psychics still have to, you know, occasionally, like if something feels off, I have to look deeper into it. You know what I mean? So it, it's like, it's it's normal. It's okay to be wrong. It's normal to get things wrong sometimes. It's kind of, you know, especially when you're first learning to use your intuition, it's kind of a trial and error process. So it's one of those things where, where you just have to really, you know, start the process of, of developing and using your intuition and connecting with your spirit guides and, and not just being at war with yourself and not sabotaging yourself anymore. Because somebody has these deeply ingrained subconscious beliefs that have kind of been coming up and sabotaging them. But if you do the shadow work, you're going to be able to start making these subconscious beliefs conscious. And so you're going to become, you're going to have this new awareness where you're going to see how you might be sabotaging yourself. You're going to see the patterns and then you're going to be able to change these patterns. You know what I mean? So it's basically saying, don't, don't just go into a downward spiral and just say, oh, everyone's out to get me or I can't trust anybody. It's like, I'm, I mean, I know it's a harsh message, but your spirit guards are saying, they are basically saying, no, like you kind of did this to yourself. Like you, you know, you chose to, you know, you've chosen to to open up to these people that, you know, resonate with deep, deeply ingrained subconscious uh, insecurities and, and negative subconscious beliefs. Um, so, I mean, you can have love, you can have abundance. Sorry, my, my, I just dyed my hair too, so <laughs> my hands are a mess. <laughs> but um, anyway, let me get more into this. Let's see. Because I do want to see what this girl is, what she's up to. I want to see if there's if there's more to know about it. Or actually, what do you just what do you want to tell me in general about this situation? Self love, patience. Yeah, being yeah being patient and being gentle with yourself, because you have yeah it's kind of just reiterating what we were talking about. Because we have self love, we have patience, and then we have self sabotage. I almost feel like somebody feels like unworthy to love themselves. It's it's almost like somebody here is like punishing themselves, like they don't feel worthy to have good people in their life. And your spirit guides are saying, you know, no, you actually are worthy to have, you do deserve good people. You do deserve good things. You do deserve to be with people who, who give, you know, who give you the right energy, who support you, who love you, who help keep you grounded. Because I feel like some of you, it's like you try to develop the self-love, you try to be patient with yourself, but then you end up falling back to these old patterns, this old self-sabotage. 
And so, and that's where the shadow work comes in, where it's like, you got to kind of catch yourself when you, you're falling back into these old patterns and don't punish yourself, you know, don't punish yourself for falling back into those patterns, but, but be patient, be understanding with yourself, be gentle with yourself, do, you know, self care, whatever that might be. I, I feel like, a, I feel like a lot of you need to do some grounding exercises, just going out in nature and, and there's different ways to ground. Like you can look it up. There's different like visualization techniques. But a common way to ground is just being barefoot out in, in, in the woods or at the beach and just, you know, just centering yourself. But yeah, basically what I feel like your spirit guides are saying is just is see how you've been sabotaging yourself. See these patterns so that you can end these patterns, so you can transform your life, so you can align with the love and the, you know, abundance and everything that you're wanting, you know. Because I feel like some of you feel like the universe just doesn't support you. Like you feel like the universe just doesn't have your back. And that's not the case at all. I feel like it's more like your spirit guides have been trying to support you. They've been trying to help you heal. They've been trying to guide you. But I feel like this is like somebody who kind of sabotages themselves and then they blame their spirit guides for it. And they say, you know, or, or they, they don't they don't know how to like differentiate um differentiate between their mind and their intuition this is somebody who's really in their head who needs to like you know recharge themselves ground themselves protect themselves uh clear their head a little bit and start learning to use your intuition and like i said using your intuition it's going to be a process especially if it's unfamiliar and especially if you're really if you're somebody who overanalyzes if you're somebody who is in their head a lot you know it, it definitely it takes some time but it's just it's just being patient with yourself just slowly learning techniques to to develop your intuition and you know and and manifesting and aligning with the things that you want because again it's like I, I yeah i think it's confirmation bias or whatever it's called where it's like it's that thing where it's like you if you have these negative beliefs about yourself then it's like you know, it's, it's almost like on a, in a subconscious way, it's like you look for like confirmation that those negative beliefs about yourself are true. You know what I mean? Or you, if you like deeply, deeply believe that you just can't trust people, then it's, it's almost like you, it's like you manifest that or you, you subconsciously in a way like align with that. And then it's, it's like you meet these people that you can't really completely trust and then when they when they hurt you or screw you over, it's like it confirms your your negative beliefs. And and then you go into that kind of eight of swords, like kind of victim mentality of like, well, see, I can't trust anybody. I was right. I shouldn't have trusted anybody, you know, like and your spirit guides are just saying like, no, they love you and support you like your spirit guides are on your side. They don't want you to they're, they're not against you. They're you're, you're working against your spirit guides, not the other way around. I feel like somebody here feels like their spirit guides or the universe is like working against them. And it's really that, you know, you're working against yourself. You're you're not at war with your spirit guides or anything else. It's it's you versus you. It's it's maybe maybe subconscious versus conscious. It's it's and it's it's also a result of not doing the shadow work that's been needed to be done um, and not doing the healing work and not facing certain things that need to be, you know, looked at these patterns, these subconscious patterns need to be brought to light, they need to be made conscious, you need to look at them to kind of clear them up and, and start doing the healing work and, and being patient with yourself and practicing self care and aligning with the things that you want. But but yeah, it's like your spirit guides, you've, you've been fighting them, it hasn't been them fighting you, they've you know, they've been trying to give you the things that you want. They've been trying to give you love and abundance and money and career, whatever you want. And and it's kind of like somebody's like going, it, it's almost like somebody goes against their spirit guides and like has patience with or like pursues toxic people. And then they feel like, oh, like my spirit guides led me to that. It's like, no, your spirit guides were screaming at you not to go for that. But you went for that anyway. You went against them. You know what I mean? And for some, I mean, you need to like be mindful of your energy too, because for some, I mean, you could even have like negative spirits around that you need to, if you're in a bad environment and that's not for everybody. I don't want to freak people out, but I mean that, you know, that does happen sometimes too, when, you know, some people do have spirit guides that are, that have a hard time getting through. If you're, if you have like negative spirits or negative energies around you that you've allowed in, it's like, those have to be cleared away too. But, um, but yeah, just just noticing how you sabotage yourself and just just realizing that your spirit guides really do love you. They really they really want the best for you. They want to they want 
you were to stop fighting them. It's like they're trying to give you this love and support and this encouragement and align you with the things that you want. And it's like you keep fighting them and saying like, oh, no, I don't deserve this or this like like making like coming up with reasons why it wouldn't work. Or like some of you want a new job or you're trying to manifest something new. And sorry, I've kind of gotten off track. I do want to get back to that girl that I was channeling because I do want to see what's up with her. But um, but yeah, it's like some of you, it's like you want to go on like this new adventure. Like you want this. It's like, it's like you want to pursue your dreams and your passions, but it's like you keep, yeah, victim consciousness. That's that's pretty much the eight of swords energy. It's like you you know you've been kind of keeping yourself stuck. I feel like you're gonna you're gonna come out of it. I feel like some of you are going through a dark night of the soul process, and you're going to be going through kind of a, a psychic awakening, a rebirth. So you know this can be really scary. The um, you know phoenix rising in this context, what I'm channeling is I do feel like this is a psychic awakening. This this definitely does look like a dark night of the soul and a um psychic awakening that kind of you know that they they tend to go hand in hand this comes before this one but you know don't be scared when this happens because it's not a bad thing but it can be really terrifying because it's like if you spent most of your life thinking that psychic psychics aren't real or that in like being skeptical skept, ah, skeptical about psychics or energy work or witchcraft or you know, like just so many different things. I feel like this is kind of like that process where the blindfold gets taken off. And a lot of people do freak out because they're like, oh my God, like, am I going? Like, I felt like that too when I was going through my psychic awakening process. Like, I felt like I was just going crazy for a little bit. I was like, this doesn't like, cause I was channeling all the time. Um, I, it freaked me out. So it's, it's, it's normal. It's, it's normal. You know, it, it is, it's basically your spirit guides are saying, trust the process, align with them, want more for yourself, you know, develop that, that genuine self-love. Don't just put a bandaid on it. You know what I mean? Like, don't just try to cover it up and just be, you know, like actually really develop genuine self-love. And, um, yeah, with the Phoenix rising, I feel like some of you are going through that psychic awakening. So you might have a lot of epiphanies. You might have just like this awareness of um, cycles. Yeah, yeah. Trust the process. Trust the process you're going through. Just this this awareness of the world around you. Like you might have a major perspective shift, but it, it, it's like... You know, don't, don't be, don't be afraid of it. If you're, if you're, if you're seeing from a higher perspective and you're not used to seeing from a higher perspective, you're not used to being that spiritual. It's like, just, just trust the process. Rejection, sexuality, take off your masks. Hmm. What is this? Selling out. For some, this woman might try to seduce you. I'm gonna pull more on her. I think this. I think this deck is. I think I'm done with this deck. I wanna pull some. I'm gonna pull some tarot actually. Sorry, I kind of got off on a tangent there, but um, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so where were we with that? Um. I feel like this girl, I feel like this woman is, how do I explain her? Yeah, she, I, just what I was what I was saying before, I feel like a little bit fake. She kind of just goes with the flow. She's very agreeable, doesn't really have strong opinions. She doesn't really, I feel, like I was saying too, just to pick up where we left off. I know I'm re reiterating myself, but I, I feel like she also, she knows your patterns. Like she knows, she's been studying your patterns. She's been studying, she's been trying to figure out what you like in women. And I feel like with your exes too, she's like, well, what did they have that I don't have? Like, what is it about them? So she's trying to figure out if it's like physical appearance, if it's something mental, emotional. And I feel like there's somebody in particular that she's trying to be like. Now, this could be an ex of yours. It could also be somebody that you're currently in love with, or it could just be like a, a pattern that you have with women that she's seen. So like, let's say you usually go for creative types, for example, and she's not really creative. She's going to start pretending to be creative. It's It's that kind of energy where she just wants to put on a mask. She wants to... She wants to be whatever you want her to be. And with those cards we were picking up too, there's something, there was a warning about, you know, finances too, where especially for somebody who might be, um, 
there might be like a cut like for for someone there was that custody battle to you where I feel like this woman feels like like either you're gonna give her give her either you're gonna love her and be with her and you know support her and the kid or she's gonna take money for like she's gonna get something from you either way is what she feels yeah because there's something she does have love for you but I feel like like finances are definitely a motivation for her yeah I'm hearing, I don't normally listen to Beyonce, but I'm hearing that Beyonce song, Ring the Alarm. Sometimes that's, that's how spirit guides talk to us too. You know, intuition can come through so many different ways. Like our spirit guides can use so many different, different synchronicities, different ways to communicate with us. Sometimes they communicate through movies. I've seen that a lot because I really like movies and I really resonate with movies. So sometimes I'll be drawn to watch a certain movie and they're like, there's messages for them. It could be like a conversation the characters have, or sometimes even I'll just see a clip from a movie. Or, all, or you know with music too and like a song might come on the radio or I might just hear a song and it just and it's not like I'm like don't look for it don't be like oh I'm gonna sit here until I get a message but it, it's one of those things where it will like just hit you like you'll just hear that hear a song or you'll just feel something intuitive you're like oh this is like this is a message this is something I'm channeling this is coming from my spirit guides I don't feel, how do I explain this? I feel like this woman thinks that she loves you, but I feel like it's more familiarity. I do feel, I feel like most of you have been married to this person. I honestly feel, this doesn't seem like somebody new. This doesn't even seem like somebody that you've just known for like a year or two. This actually feels like somebody that you've known for a really long time. Just, just judging off how well this person knows you how well they know your patterns because it's like this person really knows enough to like be able to study you and I feel like there's I just get the sense of like frustration building up with this person too so I want to say a lot of you are married to this person the hermit five of cups because yeah yeah I feel like this person it's like they do love you in their own way but more than anything it's like familiarity and I feel like you actually got this sense when you were with this person. I feel like if you did date this person or if this is somebody that you were close friends with, you kind of did get that sense that like you didn't really feel like you didn't feel fully loved. You didn't feel fully. You didn't feel completely wanted. You didn't feel like you could fully be yourself with this person. It's kind of like this person just gave up looking for their true love and they just kind of settled for you. And I feel like it might have been the same for you too, where it was just kind of familiar. You're like, well, I'm getting older. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, you know, try to work things out with this person or there might've been children involved. Cause it just, it feels like this person is romanticizing the relationship, but I feel like if they look back on the relationship, it's, it's one of those things where like, they might've tried to change you on a regular basis. Like, I feel like this is somebody who like, didn't how do I explain this energy? Because it's going to be different for everyone. And so just, you know, take it how it resonates. But I just get that there was a lot of things that they didn't like about you. And on, and there's nothing wrong with you. This just wasn't your person. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing, you guys just weren't compatible, but there's nothing wrong with you as a person. They just didn't. It was like, maybe one of you was really weird. And one of them, one of you was really normal or something of that sort. Like, I feel like they didn't like, they didn't like the kind of music you played or they didn't like, um, they didn't like you, you, um, the kind of shows that you watched or they didn't like, uh, I just, I just get like a nagging kind of energy. Like there's certain things that they really wanted to change about you and you felt that energy too. Like you felt like you couldn't, I get the sense like you felt like you couldn't fully, like you didn't really feel completely loved. You know what I mean? Like this person ne never gave you the impression that um, they felt like you were like their person or their, their true love. Like I don't get the sense that they expressed that. I think it was more like, okay, this is familiar and comfortable. And I get kind of like a controlled energy. I feel like this person, and it kind of makes sense with the energy I pick up from this person too, what I was, you know, picking up 
you know, we're on the time the reading started where I was saying, I feel like this is somebody who's not very independent. They don't really know who they are. They just, they don't have a strong sense of themselves. Um, and they're very fake in the sense that they, they just, they like whatever, what everyone else likes. They just, you know, so it kind of makes sense that somebody like that would just settle for somebody, you know what I mean? Like they don't have a strong enough personality to really go after, you know, true love or what they really want. Cause I get like a very controlling kind of, kind of energy with this person. Like somebody that just can't, that's why I was picking up borderline personality disorder too. Cause it's just somebody that just really can't handle being alone. Like they knew that you weren't the right person for them, but they didn't really care. I feel like this person might have even, did they tell you that you weren't the right person for them? Two of Cups, Page of Cups, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. Hmm. I feel like the truth came out when you guys got in arguments. Like you might have... I feel like... This is either somebody that you dated. Again, I feel like this is somebody that you've known for years. This doesn't feel like somebody that has just been in your life recently. Just can, just giving the energy. I'm getting how well they know you. But I feel like this is somebody who might have been romantic and open with you when it suited them. But if they got in an argument with you, it was like, I'm moving on. I'm leaving. I never wanted you. I never liked that you did this and this and this. I don't like the way you talk. I don't like that you, you know, I don't like the way you cut your hair. I don't like the... I don't like the way you talk. I don't like the the hobbies you have. I don't like the friends you have. I don't like this. I don't like that. Um, you know, dishonesty, escapism too. It's like the truth like comes out when this person was like upset. Nine of Swords. I feel like that left you confused too. And I feel like eventually you wanted to manifest somebody that that what is on the same page with you you started you know not seeing this person as your person and you started wanting to manifest somebody that is on the same page with you yeah strength to a pen of yeah ten of cups you wanted to manifest your ten of cups you wanted something out you know you you recognize that this wasn't for you but yeah I, I get the sense that you you did feel that energy like you didn't really feel fully supported or fully loved or fully wanted like you kind of got the sense that um like I feel like this person wasn't very emotional with you. Like they weren't very emotionally. Your needs were not being met with this person. Like I feel like they um, like either arguments or, or shutting you out or I'm trying to, sorry, I'm just trying to, cause I'm channeling. I primarily channel. I mean, I use the cards and it helps me confirm what I'm channeling. And sometimes it helps me channel too, because I get the visuals and whatnot and you know, the meanings of the cards and it all just kind of comes together but I'm just trying to figure out how to word what I'm picking up here. Um, I just got the sense, I just get the sense that you knew this person wasn't truly in love with you. Or you knew this person wasn't truly happy with you. Like you knew that they, this, this might've been somebody who cheated on you a lot, or they always kind of, you know, had like a wandering eye. Like they always maybe compared you to other people. Or it, it just get the sense that this person was all, always trying to change you. There was always, it's it's like nothing that you you did was ever good enough. And I feel like you guys both felt very alone around each other. Like I felt like I feel like you guys both felt like, like you felt like she wasn't your person, and she felt the same way about you. Like she just like you both kind of started wanting to manifest true loves elsewhere like you started you got to that point where even if you did see a future with this person at some point I feel like you got to that point where you're like you know what I want to manifest something else I want to manifest my actual true love um let's see I'm gonna pause this just so I can pick up what I'm channeling here and then come back I just get the sense of almost boredom like like if you guys were together a lot like maybe you guys would just start doing your own thing because it's like you wanted to you wanted to watch certain movies and she didn't like the kind of movies that you watched or she didn't like the kind of music you listened to. Like there's just so many incompatibilities on, you know, shallow levels, but also on deeper levels too. There was just, you know what I mean? Like it just never, 
like I don't feel like you guys had like deep conversations usually or I don't I don't feel like you guys I don't feel like this woman really I, I don't get the sense of her really opening up to you romantically like I don't get her being romantic or being vulnerable with you or being emotional with you I get more just kind of just boredom just kind of settling for you um almost sexually too I feel I'm not 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 saying that anybody is bad in bed I'm not saying that but I mean almost sexually I feel like she just and I just get like an emptiness from her it's like just somebody just not not a very strong personality like somebody without that doesn't have a lot of integrity somebody that doesn't not very creative not very interesting person just kind of a dull person you know what I mean um Cause I get, and I don't feel like, I don't feel like she was like settling, like sexually. Like I feel, I feel more like maybe she had a low, like for somebody, this, this is again, this, there's, there's multiple people in this energy group. So not every single message is going to be for you, but I do feel the energy of, um, maybe for somebody it's like she had a, a low sex drive, I think too. And so, cause I just get the energy of her just not really being just, just not really passionate about anything in her life. And that played into the relationship too, just not passionate sexually, not, not really romantic, not really emotional. Um, and I feel like you could even have patterns that you've learned from that connection with her that you need to kind of look at and kind of change those, you know, those patterns as well. Um, Just get like such an emptiness from her it's such a strange energy it's just very dull very boring very kind of empty and it's not even because a lot of times when I when I channel sometimes I'll feel pain like sometimes if I'm channeling someone that's in a lot of pain I'll feel pain and I might feel those like sensations or I might pick up that energy of somebody that's in a lot of pain holding back I don't even really feel that I'm not even really feeling a, a pain from this person I mean there might be some pain but it's more just somebody who's just it's just very empty just very dull very boring very like it like it's not like an energy of like somebody in pain trying to hold back and there, this person wasn't even really passionate about enough about life or about anything to be in that in that that kind of pain it's like this person didn't really have um they just want to be comfortable I'm, I'm getting somebody that just doesn't really have very many long-term goals or very many hobbies or interests um other than just surviving and comfort this woman unfortunately I, I do get for some that this woman might have again not for everybody so don't you know, don't, don't go accusing anybody of anything. This is just for one or two people, but I, I do get for some that this, this woman might have, um, sexual trauma and she might have, uh, I hate, I hate saying stuff like this. I'm getting the energy of prostitution for some. So I feel like this might be somebody that was just empty for just most of their life. I feel like this is possibly somebody that went through trauma at a, a very young age and just, I feel like this could be somebody that experienced soul loss and they never did soul retrieval to bring those soul parts back to themselves it's like they never someone's growth was stunted I feel where they never got a chance to develop a personality or find themselves and so most of their life has been survival or it's been I don't know it's it's it's, it's a weird energy I'm picking up um Let me see here. I'm going to pause this because I need to charge my phone. I feel like this is somebody that like didn't have very many interests either. Like I feel like this is somebody who like, like if you guys were together, if you've been friends for a long time, it's like you can never get them to go out and do things or you can never even just like hobbies or, or even just like doing something at home like art or or uh, even like movies or um or music or just just opening up to new experiences or new things this is somebody who just liked just really stuck in their patterns just liked the same exact thing just somebody who wasn't very open-minded somebody who just this woman I'm picking up not very spiritual not very open-minded not very creative just just kind of a dull energy to be honest and the the sexual thing that I got it's not personal I just I feel like this woman I feel like it's it's about her perspective I just feel like she kind of sees sex as something you use to get something that you want or she sees sex as something that you have to do 
basically like a chore or something that you're just required to do and that could go back to her own trauma. But I feel like it's, um, but it's not personal. It's not saying that anybody was bad in bed or anything like that. It, it's, it's just that, you know, this, this woman's own perspective. But anyway, um, yeah, but I, I feel like, like, I feel like if you guys were together or, or even just friends or whatever, it's like, I feel like you did get that sense that like, that she was settling for you or that she didn't know who she was or that she, um, just, I just get like, I get kind of like a fake smile. Like you, like, like you wanting to spice the relationship up or you wanting to get on the same page with her. And it's like, she would pretend to kind of keep you happy, but there wasn't any passion. There wasn't any, like you, you felt like you were, you know, dealing with a brick wall pretty much. You know what I mean? Like there wasn't passion. There wasn't empathy. There wasn't really emotion there on her end. You know what I mean? It would be kind of like, like you might have done something to like try to like spice a relationship up. Like, oh, let's go on a, I'm seeing like a lake for somebody. Like you might have been like, oh, let's go like on this retreat or let's go to this uh, lake. I'm feeling like, um, and I feel like she's like, sure, that sounds fun. But like, she's not like, maybe you really love nature and she just really was not into nature or something of that sort. You know what I mean? Where it's like, you, you know what I mean? Like you kind of felt like she was just agreeing with you and just kind of settling and just didn't just, just, she didn't want confrontation. She didn't want, um, she just, again, she, she, again, just not, not someone with a lot of aspirations, just someone who wants to be comfortable, somebody who just wants to be neutral, somebody who doesn't want to deal with challenges, somebody who doesn't um, want to open their mind, they don't want to change, they just kind of, you know, they just want to exist, that's it, like, that's, you know, just somebody who's, who's very empty, very, um, and again, there's a difference between being depressed and going through a lot and being empty because of that, and, and somebody who's just genuinely just an empty person, just, just period, you know what I mean, like, somebody who just doesn't have a strong personality, even when they are happy, or even when they are in a good space, you know what I mean, like, there's, there's, you know, it's totally normal, like, I feel empty sometimes, like, everybody feels empty sometimes, like, that's, you know, those are normal feelings to have as humans, but this is somebody who is just, like, it's, like, constantly empty, you know what I mean, like, even if everything's going great, they're still just, like, like you could give them the world and and they're just like, eh, I don't want to do anything. I just kind of want to, you know, I just want to exist. Like, I don't want to, you know what I mean? Like, I, I like, like, I just want to get by and I'll be good. You know what I mean? Um, or even if this person did have interest, it's like, I feel like they didn't really align with yours. And so I feel like they, cause I, I just get this sense that like things that you were interested in, they might've like agreed to do those things with you, but they weren't really like into it. And you kind of felt that. Cause I just see an image of like a woman kind of fake smiling and being like, okay, sure. We'll go, I guess we'll go to the lake this weekend. Sure. That's like, that sounds fun. But like, you can feel in her energy that she's not really like wanting to do that. Like she's not actually really into nature. Um, or you try to have a conversation with her to try to like get on the same page and bring more passion and romance into the relationship. And she's just kind of like, just, it's, it's like, she was just kind of settling for you. You know what I mean? She's like, let's just be comfortable. It's just, just very complacent. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me, let me get, let me get, you know, past that and get on to you know, her intentions and, and more about that. Cause I feel like that probably already clears up, you know, who she is for most of you. You probably know who this person is. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like you would have never, this would be someone that you never felt loved by, like somebody who probably never told you they loved you or like you had to say it first and they kind of half asked it like, oh, sure. I love you too, honey or whatever. But it was like, you didn't really feel wanted. You didn't feel, you didn't actually really feel loved by this person. You could kind of get that energy that they were trying to make you into someone that you weren't, or they were just settling for you because they didn't want to be alone. But it's like something, you know, th there were problems and they didn't really care about fixing them they just wanted to not be by themselves um but yeah a very emotionless person I feel like you were the more emotional person in that connection like you were the one that had to start conversations you were the one that had to get things moving you were the one that had to plan things like it just feels like somebody who's very emotionally kind of just just blocked um where was I with this? 
But anyway, I feel like they're romanticizing the connection because I feel I feel like part of it is the desperation not to be alone and also part of it is just familiarity. Um, let's see. So we got Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Six of Cups. I almost feel like this person, it's like you rejecting this person makes them want to come back or something like that kind of where it's like they're nostalgic and they're getting out of hermit energy and they're coming forward with the and then with the five of cups we have here that's like you know regret loss crying over spilled milk and it just kind of feels like this person is so insecure and they have such a weak sense of themselves that if someone rejects them it's like that makes them want them more and I feel like it could have even messed with your perception of women as well, where it might have put the idea in your head that um, it might have put the idea in your head that, you know, women. Because I just feel like in this connection, I feel like you did try really hard or you did. How do I explain this energy? I feel like it just might have you might have negative beliefs about women that stem from this connection is basically what I'm what I'm trying to say what I'm feeling here so it might be one of those situations because I feel like this I feel like this woman isn't like most I mean most women are more confident most women like you know most women know themselves more better than this person does and I feel like this person's insecurities I feel like they blamed other people for their insecurities or they just didn't they didn't want to do the work on themselves and I feel like when you rejected them, it's like they resonated with that. They didn't resonate with being loved, but I feel like this woman might have resonated with, um, how do I explain it? It's like she just wanted to be comfortable. It's just, it's just very, very dull. Like somebody, like you tried really hard and I feel like she didn't really give that much effort. But I feel like you might have negative, sub, like that might be part of the, part of the shadow work is you might have negative beliefs that kind of stem from that, like... You know, maybe like women want what they can't have or um, or there's always one person trying more in the relationship or, you know what I mean? Like just negative beliefs and, and you kind of have to see where those patterns stem from. It's like that woman that you dealt with isn't like most women. Like most women are confident. Most women do not resonate with being, you know, like, like a good woman, I'm saying, like will not resonate with being re rejected. A good woman will not resonate with being, with feeling unwanted, being rejected, um, you know what I mean? Like a good woman will, will know what she wants. Like she'll, you know what I, you know, um, cause I just feel like that was a very emotionally draining situation. But anyway, for some of you, I feel like that could be someone, I feel like it's like an ex-wife or for some, it could be someone that you're friends with. I mean, it could... I feel like it could for some of you it could be someone that you've just always been friends with for years and it's never gone anywhere I don't think that's the case for most of you but in that case I feel like this would be someone that you tried to support like because I do get the energy you know whatever the story is whether this was an ex-wife or that this is just somebody that you've been friends with for years I do really feel the energy of you feeling exhausted from this from the connection you feeling like you were just giving and giving and giving and not getting much in return um, let's see here. I feel like too, I feel like you realized that you didn't want this person. Like, I feel like, I feel like you always kind of felt unwanted by her. But I feel like after there might have been a falling out um, and I feel like this was a lot. This was a long time ago. This wasn't this is not like in recent months. This was would have been like a couple years or more ago um, for most of you. But I feel like there might have been like a falling out. Like even if you were just friends, there might have been a falling out or if like if there was like a divorce or a breakup or something. And I feel like both of you at that point like knew like like she already like I think when you guys were connected like you already did not feel loved or wanted you already felt like she sorry about my phone. Um, you already felt uh, like she was just settling for you like you didn't feel like she was very affectionate you didn't feel like 
she really wanted to um to travel with you or to uh to be on the same page with you like you felt like she um like i like i just get like a sense of kind of like you know frustration basically but I feel like when the breakup happened, I feel like both of you felt like it was for the best. I kind of do get that energy where it was like, like at a certain point, you both felt like it was for the best. Like you both felt like, like you just didn't resonate with each other. Like you felt like you never resonated with each other. Like it was never, you know, that deep. Um, I feel like for someone, this could have been a woman that was extremely introverted as well. And like you tried to get her out of her shell and tried to get her to go out and do stuff with you. And, and eventually you just kind of caved and just stopped wanting to do stuff all together because she didn't want to do anything. Like you just kind of like went along with whatever she wanted to do. Or if she had hopped, like, I don't know. I just, I get, I get, just get a, a off energy from her. Um, let me pause to pick up what I'm channeling here. Oh, I was going to say. I feel like you were trying to make either the friendship or the relationship work. Like you were putting in all the effort. And I feel like, I feel like, she, you know, like I said, I feel like she was the one that, you know, made you feel unwanted, didn't make you feel loved. Like she was the one that just kind of, you know, again, just very complacent, very kind of boring, very dull energy is what I get, what I get from this woman. Um, but I feel like after the breakup or the separation, whatever that was, I feel like both of you. I feel like you got on that same, like you, you kind of saw what she had been seeing the whole time. You're like, oh wait, I'm not compatible. Like, wait a minute. Like, like you started seeing it too. You're like, wait, I, I'm not compatible with this person. Like there's no, we don't have the same taste in movies or TV shows or music and on deeper levels. Like we don't have, you know, similar beliefs. We don't have, and there can be differences. That's totally fine. But it was one of those situations where it was like just so many incompatibilities. You know what I mean? Like, like, just so, like, you guys just, it's like if you went out to do something together, like, one of you always hated it is kind of the energy I got. Like, if one of you liked bowling and the other one hated it, or one of you liked um, going to concerts and the other one didn't like it, it was, like, that kind of thing. Like, where you all, like, you guys were always, like, on different pages with, like, you, you know what I mean? Like, you just, you there's just a lot of incompatibilities and on deeper levels, too. I feel like you guys had very different, like, um, like maybe, like, religious beliefs or, like, uh could be any number of things but it, it was like it, it they're just I just get that like that she just did not resonate with you in so many different ways but I feel like you were trying really hard for a long time to like you know to make it work and to be happy and to see the best in her and I feel like after the separation I feel like you kind of saw the same things that she had been seeing the whole time where you're like wait a minute like no this isn't my person like I don't like, this isn't what I want. Like, I want to manifest somebody that, you know, has more in common with me or, you know, resonates with me more. I want to manifest somebody that makes me feel loved and wanted. Um, it, it, it's like you, you know, you know, like you kind of gotten that mentality. And I think that she recognizes that. And I almost feel, I feel like with this girl, I feel like it's just... I feel like it's it's almost like the challenge too, where it, it it's like, you know, it was fine when she recognized it, but now that you've recognized it and now that, you know, you feel like now that you see the incompatibilities, it's like she wants to change your mind. Like she didn't really want you when she had you. She didn't actually like when you were trying really hard to make it work, when you were telling her how much you love her and and trying to see the best in her, when you were supporting her. I feel like there was like a lot of just trying to get her out of her shell is like the main energy I get. But I feel like, um, I feel like it, part of it is it's like the challenge for her. And I, I feel like it's like now that she, you know, now that you know better, now that you know that you don't resonate with that, now that you see the same things that she saw before with you guys not being compatible and, and not being each other's, you know, true love or whatnot, it's like now she's, you know, like deep down, she knows that you're not her person either. But it's like now there's that it's like that trigger because she's so insecure that it's it's like she wants to convince you now that she is your person and that she can um, be creative and fun and, and do this and that. It's it's the challenge, though. It's, it's mental. It's it's not actually true love, you know, and I think that, you know, that with her. Um 
And like, I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like you have like your, like, I feel like deep down, like, you know that, like, you know that it's just a challenge. And again, I want to say, I feel like there is something here where you might have taken some of that trauma and some of those, the way that she is, I feel like it affected how you view women, if that makes sense, where it's like, honestly, like most women are not li like good women. I shouldn't, I don't, I shouldn't say most, but like, like a decent woman is not like that. Like, like a good woman is going to resonate with like a woman who has passions, who has hobbies, who who has genuine confidence. And, you know, you could be depressed and you can have genuine confidence still. It's not saying that, like not someone that's perfect, but just somebody who has a backbone, somebody that has, you know, integrity, um, somebody that has, you know, passions and hobbies and things that they love about life you know, somebody who has things that they're, they're driven towards is, is not going to resonate with, um, having to chase a man or, or being rejected by a man. Like they're not, you know, if a woman's truly in love, like she might put up with that energy to a degree, but she's not going to resonate with it. It's not, you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to, it's not going to turn her on. It's not going to make her want to chase more. It's, it's going to be, Having like a woman who genuinely loves herself, having to chase a man is going to be a huge turnoff and, and something, you know, a woman who genuinely loves herself probably isn't even going to be willing to chase a man for the most part. Maybe, maybe there's exceptions, but for the most part, a woman that really, you know, loves herself and knows herself is just, is, is going to be turned off by having to chase a man. Like she's not going to want to to have to chase a man. You know what I mean? Like she's going to resonate with being pursued by a man with a man, you know, stepping up and being assertive and being in that masculine energy and pursuing her and courting her and, um, you know, taking care of her and expressing his feelings to her. Like, you know, a woman that really like, you know, has passions and has integrity is going to resonate with feeling wanted, feeling special, feeling loved. Um, being pursued by a man so and again there's exceptions to that like where you know a woman might make exceptions um if she's truly deeply in love with a man but it, she's still going to be turned off you know what i mean like she might make exceptions but she's still going to be like hey are you going to like step up and and be assertive sometime soon like are you know what i mean like she's not gonna even if she's, even if she's making excuses or trying to be patient with you, she's, she's still not, um, she's still going to be turned off by, by, you know, having to, if she ha if, uh, she's still going to be turned off by not, you know, not being pursued, not, not being loved properly, not being taken care of. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, and I just, I'm putting that out there because I feel like for somebody, I feel like, or for a few people, I feel like this woman, whatever happened in the relationship, I feel like you have, have negative, untrue beliefs about all women at this time, almost like a stereotype that, that you need to kind of look at and possibly heal. Because again, I feel like this, this woman that you dealt with was really insecure. And so I feel like she did resonate with, you know, being abused or I'm, I hate to say it like that. That sounds, that sounds screwed up. Um, cause like people go through shit. There's nothing, you know what I mean? Like it happens. Like there's, I don't, I'm not putting, I'm not trying to put women down like that, but, um, how do I, how do I word that in a better way? Um, this woman that I'm picking up on that you dealt with, like, I feel like she did resonate with like being rejected, being, um, being, uh, pushed away, like, you know, being told she's not good enough. This person might have even had like a degradation kink or something like that going on too. Um, you know, and like certain traumas that she just hadn't resolved. Like, I feel like this, I just feel like she had a really low sense of self-worth. So it, it's like, yeah, if you're, if you're dealing with a woman like that, then, then yeah, like she is gonna resonate with being rejected. She is gonna chase you if you reject her. She is gonna, um, try to, you know, win you over. It's, it's like repeating childhood trauma. She is going to try to win you over if you reject her and push her away. And if you don't want her, it's going to make her want you more. But, but again, you kind of have to see like, that's, that's with an insecure woman. That's with an, that's with a woman that doesn't know herself, but like a, a good woman, the kind of woman that you would want to be with is, is not going to resonate with being rejected or pushed away or, or dealing with any of that, you know, most, 
like if a good woman deals with that for you like she she probably really really loves you you know because most you know on average you know there's exceptions but on average like a good woman will usually not deal with any of that you know what I mean so so just kind of um look at the patterns there and look at what what negative beliefs you might have acquired from that connection with that woman and realize that you know she was very insecure and like most women are not are most women aren't her you know what I mean like that that might have worked with that woman it's it's not going to work with most women though it's not going to work with a, that those patterns that that whole dynamic whatever it was it, it's not going to work with a quality woman um Because, yeah, an average woman, I mean, most most women are turned on by men that are in that masculine energy, you know, being assertive, stepping up, taking control in the right ways, um, pursuing, making plans, like expressing emotion, getting things done. Like that's that kind of that assertive energy, like a man going after, you know, a man pursuing the woman he wants. That's that stuff is a huge turn on. That's that's really sexy for most women. Anyway, um, Southern of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the Magician. Yeah, it's it's kind of just reiterating. She's trying to pretend to be again. I'm getting the same energy. She's trying to pretend to be somebody that you are in love with, or she's trying to pretend to be. She's been studying you. Eight of Pentacles is about studying. And so it's like she's trying to manifest this. And you see this woman here, Five of Swords. It's like a very competitive kind of energy. I feel like for some of you, I feel like she might be stalking the person that you're in love with. Or she might be um, stalk. Like I get like a creeping, kind of creeping on your ex's pages and kind of trying to. It's like she's observing. She's trying to figure it out. She's like. Was what is it about these women that you know that you liked so much that she she doesn't have now? And again, it, it's it's mental. It's it's not real love. It's it's more. It's just like it's a challenge for her. You know what I mean? It's like she doesn't like you wouldn't want to deal with a woman like that. You know what I mean? And people go through insecurities. I'm not I'm not hating. Like I I get it. I understand. People have their insecurities. Nobody's perfect. But, but these are like deep insecurities where, you know, and this woman isn't working on them. She's not, tr she's not even, she doesn't want to work on them. She's just fine being the way that she is. You know what I mean? Um, let me see what else I can feel from this here. Yeah, I get the energy of her because Eight of Pentacles is about studying. And I feel like she's trying to pretend to be this person. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's abundant, who's um, who's successful, who's powerful, abundant. This is a this is a card about independence. And I feel like she's trying to study these exes of yours or this person you're currently in love with, or maybe a combination of both, and see what it is about them that that you like so much. And the thing is, she can't fake this energy, but she's trying to. She's trying to pretend to be this to get you back, to get your attention back. Um, but she can't because it's, it's like you know that she's faking it. Intuitively, you can feel it. You feel like she's not actually that person. You're like you already, you know who she is already. Like you've already, you know what I mean? Like you know this woman well enough. You've seen who she is. You know that she's not creative. You know that she doesn't have a drive. You know that she's not passionate. You know that like, you know, these things about her. So if she's coming to you and she's like, oh, all of a sudden I'm, I'm really into dancing or I'm really into, you know, like, like she hated the woods her entire life. And all of a sudden she's like, you know what? Like, maybe we should go to the, like, you remember like years ago, we went to the woods together. Like, like, let's, you know, let's go on it. Let's go on a, let's go to the woods together. Let's go on a trip or let's go to the movies or let's go do this or that. And you're like, wait a minute. Like you were never into that stuff before. Like, and she's like, well, I'm changing. I'm opening up. And it's, it's like, no, she's not. She's, again you you it's it's mental the 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 energy exchange between you two it's it's very it's mental it's mental patterns that are repeating and again you triggering her like like I said with a woman like that like not to reiterate myself too much but like I said there's a drastic difference between a woman that's in that that deeply insecure 
and a woman who's, you know, has passions and has integrity. There's there's a drastic energy difference. What works for a woman like her is not going to work for someone who's, you know, the opposite of her, who who does know who they are. Um, but it, it, yeah, it's one of those things. It's like you can just feel that energy. So it's it's like you've triggered her, her. Um, you triggered something in her where it's like she's. Honestly, I'm getting daddy issues. I don't know a nice way to say it, but I am getting daddy issues. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I think a lot of, you know, and you can be genuinely, genuinely confident woman and have like daddy issues or whatever. You know what I mean? Like you could have gone through that. You can have those wounds and those traumas, but still have a sense of self and still have things you're passionate about. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not talking crap or anything, but it's one of those things where it's like with the daddy issues with her, it's like she didn't fix, like she didn't try to work through them. She didn't acknowledge them she's it's kind of one of those things where it's like when you reject this woman it's like it triggers something in her where she's like oh I have to prove myself now like oh this man like rejected me so I'm gonna have to chase them I'm gonna have to prove that I'm valuable I'm gonna have to prove you know it, it, it's just it's just a challenge for her it's it's just her wanting what she can't have pretty much um and if you opened up to this woman, if you went back to that pattern, it's it's honestly going to be the same thing it was before with her, where you're going to feel alone. You're going to feel like you're not, like you're just going to feel unloved. You're going to feel like, you know, once she has you, she takes you for granted again. She's bored. She's on to the next thing. Um, just, just very dull energy. So, you know, kind of recognizing that, that this is just a challenge for her. But yeah, I feel like she's studying people that you, uh, I feel like she's studying people that you know. She's trying to see what it is about them that, that you like so much. Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords. She's not a strong person. I feel like she's trying to pretend to be a strong person, but she's she's honestly just not. <laughs> Eventually, I feel like she is going to have to give this up, though, because you're not, you, you know better at this point. You're stronger than her. I think it's also reiterating too for some of you because I feel like some of you might have been like, well, maybe I should give this a chance again or maybe there's, you know, maybe she really is changing. And I think it's kind of reiterating that your intuition is telling you like, you know that this isn't your empress. You know that this person is not, you know, the empress is all four queens combined. The empress is powerful. You know that this woman that you, who I'm channeling, you know, she's not powerful. She might be controlling sometimes, but she's not powerful. So I think it's saying, you know, with the Knight of Swords, have that integrity, have that self-discipline. Like, even if you get lonely, don't um, don't fall back into old patterns. It's going to be the same thing as before. It's going to, you know what I mean? It's it's just not, it's not something that you're going to want. It's it's not something that's, um, yeah, it's, it's just not something that's really going to resonate with you long term. Um it's going to, it's going to be a repeat of the same cycles. It's going to, it's going to, it would be exactly how it was in the past with her. It would just go right back to that. As soon as she has you, the challenge is over. She's bored and you can't really be with somebody like that. It doesn't work. You know what I mean? Like you want somebody who's going to want you the more that they have you, like they're going to, the more you open up, the more you express yourself. You know, like I said, a good woman is going to be turned on by that. A good woman is going to be turned on by you expressing yourself and being emotionally available um, so it's, it's like not, it's not going to work with somebody like, you know, this, per, this woman that I'm channeling where it's like, she's, you know, she didn't want you when she had you, but it's like, now there's, there's the challenge and she wants to prove herself. It's also just her own insecurities when it comes to other women as well, because it's like, she wants to, she sees these other women that are around her that are creative, that are inspirational, but it's like, she doesn't, um, she can't really embody, she's not strong enough to embody that energy. She doesn't have that same passion for life. She doesn't have that creative side, you know? Um, so it's like she doesn't really know what to do other than just fake it and pretend like she has it. So it's it's kind of, the cards are telling you too, like, you know, make sure you continue to see through the illusion. Don't give in out of loneliness because I feel like this woman has gotten frustrated, so I do feel like she's going to try a new technique to try to seduce you. 
And again, for a lot of you, I feel like that's going to be pretending like she's suddenly this creative person and she's suddenly open trying to, I feel like she's been studying and I feel like, again, studying your exes or studying like your type. And I feel like she's been plotting something where it's like she wants to pretend to be this whole new person, but you're going to see through it. But you have to, you, you know, you have to keep seeing through it. You have to see through the bullshit and, and be smart about it, you know, um, Let's see here. What else do I want to ask about this? Because it's almost, it's kind of creepy in a way. It's almost stalkerish in a way when I think about it. Because it's it's like she's been studying your exes or she's been studying people that you know or, or whoever it's been that she's been looking at. And it's like she sees the pattern. She's like, oh, all these women are, are they have a creative side or they have this. So it's like now she's going to pretend to be that. But it's almost like she's been gathering. I get the energy of her gathering gathering information over time. Like this isn't like, this isn't like like four or five months or six months. This is like she's maybe longer. I don't know. It's it's like she's been taking notes for a while now. Um, to try to you know fake this appearance, fake this you know this fake this personality with you basically. What else are her um, intentions? What else do we need to know? Is there any new information here? Page of Cups, Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like she keeps getting rejected by you because, you know, the blindfold is off. It's like, you know that you don't want this again. Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups. Hmm. What is this trying to tell me here? Four of Pentacles strength. I feel like she's trying to do something to make you feel obligated to her. She's trying to there's some kind of sneaky energy here because it's it's like like it just keep getting this energy where it's like she's planning a new approach because whatever she's been doing it's like whatever she's you know when I see this couple it's like five of wands is about like miscommunication arguments but whenever I see this couple I see how they're like they're not talking they're not you know and ten of swords is like heartbreak betrayal so it's in page of cups is about like you know coming in with like a love message or like flirting like trying to get you know something off the ground here but it's it's like the blindfold is off so it's it's almost like she's dropping these hints or whatnot um or trying to pretend i feel like she's just acting maybe acting weird or pretending to be into like i said like into stuff that she's you know that she's not into um like just trying new techniques because her old techniques aren't working and there's she does want money i do get that she does want money and she wants to be comfortable she wants the familiarity you need to be really careful with this woman though because there's like I said, for some, I feel like okay. This is only for one person, so I don't want like every I don't want everybody that's watching this to like freak out and be like, oh my, like 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 don't panic. But for somebody that's watching this, I'm seeing a filing cabinet and I'm seeing like envelopes in there. Um, it it's like a it's like a desk, but it it's like one of those like office desks desks, and I think it's um. I'm seeing like a dark wood color and I feel like in this, it, it's like a filing cabinet, but it's like part of a desk, I think. And I'm seeing these envelopes and these papers in there. And I feel like she's going through the papers when you're not looking or you're not around. Um, I don't know what that's about, but just be careful with that. Because like I said, for some, that could be for the person that's, you know, that she is considering trying to, um, trying to uh, use the kid against you that that could be for that person let me pull some more cards though because I feel I feel like there is more to know about this I'm sorry I know this reading has gone on for a while um but I just feel like there's more to know and let me know too if you guys prefer the longer readings like do you guys prefer the really in-depth readings like this where you get you know as much in like information about the past about you know what she's what what's currently going on do you guys like the in-depth readings or would you prefer um faster readings can you guys let me know in the comments below just so i know you know what you guys are looking for um 
Okay, so she's pretending to be this person. She's pretending to be someone that she's not to try to get your interest. She's pretending. What else? What else is there to know about that? The Emperor, Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, Three of Wands, Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you're going towards something else. You know, like, you know that your Ten of Cups is with this Queen of Cups here, Ace of Cups. You have all these good love cards. So I feel like you're being strong and you're not giving into the loneliness because I feel like this woman might, maybe she's tried to seduce you or she might be trying to seduce you right now. Like she might be trying to maybe like something sexual or trying to get you to go somewhere with her. And you know that she, you know what her intentions are. Um, you know something's off and you're telling her no. Like, I think you're telling her, like, I'm sorry, I'm busy. I can't I can't go to the movies with you or I can't go do this with you. But um, you know, your spirit guides are saying that you're 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 on the right track with that. Like, listen to your intuition. You know something feels off. So it, it's good to, you know, tell her you're busy or even be honest with her and just say, Hey, this is not happening. Like, I'm not doing this, you know. But protect yourself too. But um, but yeah, you know, the emperor is is strong masculine energy so you're you're strong you're assertive you 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 know better like you know that that's not your person you know that's not where your ten of cups lies and I feel like you're going forward towards something else towards something that's balanced where you know you can towards someone where it's like you can be emotional and be romantic with them and they're going to give you that same energy right back you're going to be both on the same page you're both that's the ideal relationship you guys are both giving to each other you're both supporting each other you know you're both it's ba it's a balanced relationship you're both taking care of each other you're both being romantic with each other you're both loving each other two of pentacles nine of pentacles the devil two of cups she she's gonna try to block you from your actual person hmm let me see here let me confirm this, actually. Is she trying to block you from, like, the person you do love? And for some, okay, so for some, this is somebody that she knows about that you want to go towards. For others, I feel like this is just you. It could simply be that you haven't met anybody, but she knows that she's not your type, and she knows that you want to manifest somebody that is more confident, more assertive, more, you know, again, Six of Pentacles is like a balanced relationship. It's mutual give and take. She knows that you want something else. She knows that you want, she knows that you don't want her anymore. Um, I feel like she's trying to block that. Even if, even if, like I said, even if you haven't met anybody, even if you're just, you know, even if you're just out there looking and you're just like, you know what, I just know that I, I don't know what I want, but I know it's not you. Um, or if you do love somebody and you're going towards that, I feel like she's trying to block it. We've got nine of wands, the devil, the two of cups, the nine of swords. It's like she's giving this one last chance. She's changing her approach up. Queen of pentacles, three of swords, the knight of cups. Two of Swords reversed. Hmm, what is this energy? Tell me more about this. I feel like it's different for everybody. For some, she might be doing black magic, but not for most of you. I feel like for most of you, it's more um, not black magic, but... For some, I feel like it's more mental manipulation. She might try to kind of break you down and make you feel like you can't have this with this Queen of Pentacles. Because this is, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's confident, who's stable, who's who knows themselves. You know what I mean? Like this is someone who's more successful. With the devil energy, it's like old patterns, old, um, like she wants to, to drag you right back into that old cycle with her. Nine of Wands, nine, nine of Wands. I, I didn't mean to say night, I meant to say nine of Wands is about, um, to me, I always see that as like one final battle. 
it's the nine of wands is the wounded warrior it's it's that one final battle and you see how stubborn she is too you see that look on her face where she's very you know she's kind of she's a little pissed off <laughs> where it's it's almost like she she wants to she feel like she has she feels like she has claim on you and I feel like she might be telling people in your social circle that she's with you or she's trying to. I feel like she's getting embarrassed because she keeps dropping hints and you keep rejecting her. You keep just not being on board with her. And so I feel like she might honestly start being more assertive. But again, you know, don't give in to loneliness if she tries to seduce you. Like, be smart because this is... It's going to be the same bullshit as before with her. It's going to be, it's going to be toxic. It's going to, you know what I mean? Like once the challenge, once she's won the challenge, once she has you, she'll go right back to doing the same stuff she did in the past. But I feel like this woman is getting kind of embarrassed because it's like, you're not having it. Like you're not, even if you're polite, like, I feel like you might try to be amicable with her and be like, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm busy. Like I, I, you know, maybe some other time we'll go to the movies or, or whatever it might be. But I feel like she's getting embarrassed. So I feel like if you have mutual friends, she's telling them that there's something going on between you guys that's not really going on. Or she's making it seem like, even if she's not straight up saying like, hey, we're we're together or we're, we're going to be dating or whatever. I feel like she's, um, I feel like she's making it in, in your social circle. I feel like she's making it seem like there's something going on. Like she might, like, let's say that she, let's say that you guys know each other's friends. She might maybe try to talk to them and, and maybe she's having a conversation and she'll be like, oh, I'm going over to, uh, I'm going to Brandon's house, uh, tonight, you know, I'll tell him you said hi or something or I'll, I'm, I'm going like, like, I don't know, like she's like implying things. Like she's implying that there's something going on between you two, especially if you have female friends. I feel like she's making a point to, um, to talk to them at certain points like if she knows she's going to hang out with you she might like or if she knows she's going to your house let's say she's going to your house for like an hour let's say she's going to your house to like pick up um like let's say she's doing her, her laundry at your house and she's going to pick up her laundry at your house or something like that she might like tell a mutual friend like be talking to a mutual friend and be like oh i'm going over to brandon's house or you know whoever's house to uh to pick my laundry up like he's been so supportive and caring like I'm glad I'm important to him just you know not, not like I mean something like along those lines where it's like she's trying to plant those seeds in people's heads she's trying to make people like she's embarrassed so she's trying to make people think that there's something going on between you two when there isn't and I think she's also trying to put claim on you because she's trying to um I feel like she's trying to buy herself time because she knows that her old tactics aren't working with you. So she's trying to switch it up and try a new technique to um, to basically get your attention and try to try to pretend to be something she's not to make you make you like her or love her again or whatever. So she's basically buying herself time and trying to make sure that, you know, none of your female friends develop feelings for you or that, you know, nothing, nothing else can happen between you and anybody else in the meantime. Like she thinks, she thinks that if she just buys herself enough time that eventually you'll, it's kind of like she's trying to isolate you. Like she's trying to make it so that you don't have any other options but her. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the energy I'm getting. I, I feel like she's trying to make it so that you do not have any other options but her because she knows right now that you're, she knows that you're lonely, I think. And I think that she knows that she can play on that loneliness. And I think that's how she's going to try to manipulate you. It's how she's going to try to get you is through that loneliness. Like she's going to try to isolate you over time to the point where you feel like you just don't have anybody else but her. And so you have to, you know, like she feels like you'll just eventually have to be with her because you don't have any other options. Like she's made all these other women in your life believe that, um, that you guys are an item or that there's something going on there. Um, or it could even be planting seeds in people's heads that you're like, I mean, this isn't for most people. For most people, I don't think it's quite this toxic, but I think for some, I feel like she might even be, she's just, I just get like a manipulative vibe, like very sneaky energy right now. But I think for some, she might actually be planting seeds in people's heads that like, you're not a great person or that, 
Um, like you, like just trying to make people that could be interested in you feel like you're not available either because you're with her or making them think that you're just not a good catch. Like they, you know, like they wouldn't want to be with you. Um, just, just trying to buy herself time and trying to separate you from other people, separate you from friends potentially even so that, you know, she's all that you have left so that you have no choice, but to to give this another chance. Like she thinks that's going to work. Um, you need to be more careful with this person. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Could be throat chakra blocks too, but you got to be more careful with this person too, because with this devil, the devil card, that's not a good card to get here. And then the nine of swords, this is like anxiety, stress, worries. So it's, it's like, she's trying to get you in your head or she's trying to She's just trying to, to put this claim on you, basically. Knight of Cups, Two of Swords reversed. Yeah, she wants you to feel alone so you'll, so you'll open up to her. She wants you to be heartbroken. She wants you to also feel like you can't have this person. She wants you to feel like you wouldn't be worthy of this or like... Um, she might just be discouraging you from, I don't know, there's just this weird energy here where it's like she wants you to be in this sad energy where she's trying to kind of knock you down, but like do it slowly over time so that you're just, it's like she's trying to manipulate your perception of her. She's trying to make it, she wants to seem, so she's not strong enough to, um, she, like, like I said, she's not a strong person. She doesn't know who she is. She's not strong enough to, um, someone like this that's just doesn't, have empathy doesn't have a lot of empathy doesn't have a lot of emotion doesn't have a lot of um and it's not it's not just damage it's like just genuinely like on a deep level she doesn't it's not someone who's just like fighting their emotion it's someone who's genuinely just doesn't have that deep level of, of emotion but um someone like that can't really be a support system for you like that that wouldn't really work they're not strong enough but I feel like she's trying to manipulate the way that you see her to make you feel like she's a support system um basically uh making herself appear a lot stronger than she is so that you have no because she thinks that if you're in this three of swords energy like if you're in this this kind of heartbroken kind of sad lonely disappointed energy like if if she's blocked these other women or blocked, you know, friends or whatever, you know, basically she's trying to eliminate the competition so she can buy herself more time with you and manipulate your perception and manipulate you into, into feeling something that you don't feel for her. She feels like if she can get you in that three of swords energy, then you're going to open your heart to her again because you're going to be like, oh, I'm alone. I don't have anybody else. I might as well go for this, you know. Yeah, you're going to see through this and you're going to wrap this cycle up with her. And I think you're going to do the shadow work. I think that you're going to do the shadow work. You're going to realize that this, this is toxic. You're going to realize how she's been manipulating you, how she's been trying to put claim on you. When Again, you, you dodged a bullet here. This isn't something that you would want. Like I said, if you went back to this, it would be the same same as before. It would just be very lonely with her. But again, she wants to win the challenge. It's like, it's, it's a challenge. It's, it's like a game for her. It, not, not even a game. It's more like a challenge in the sense of like, like I said, like she needs to prove herself. You know, she needs to, it, it's that you triggered something in her because she hates being rejected. So, but I think you're going to wrap this cycle up. You're going to see through the lies. You're going to see through this fake image that she's presenting. Um... Yeah, I, I feel like, let me see what, let me see. Again, there's something with money too, where she wants to be out of poverty. She wants peace, stability. She doesn't want, yeah, she's trying to plant those seeds because she wants um, that foundation. She wants money or she wants, it, it's not just about, a, it's not just about, it's not even about love for her. I mean, she feels like it is, but again, it's more familiarity. It's, it's comfort. It's also the challenge, just, just wanting what she can't have, wanting, um, 
you know, wanting to, wanting, being subconsciously triggered and needing to prove herself, needing to, you know. Four of Wands, the star. Yeah, she's trying to get things moving in this connection, but it's not going to happen. But yeah, there is something with finances. Like I said, she wants out of poverty or she wants financial help. Because it's like more than thinking about you, she's thinking about your money too. She's like, oh, like if this other, if these other girls get him, they're going to get that financial support or something. Like they're going to, like she's, she's after that money, honestly. Or she's after something. It's not money for everybody, but it's something that you have that she wants. Knight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, I gotta wrap this reading up because I know it's been a while. I might if I if I pick up more on this, I feel like most of you are just gonna end this. Like, especially if you see this, I feel like you're gonna you've intuitively know this already, and I feel like you're gonna wrap this cycle up. Um, there is a warning too, like with the nine nine of swords, um, you know, anxiety, but it's it's also someone being in their head. So this person might try to play the victim too as well. They might try to, if you call them out on this stuff, they might be like, they, they're going to pretend like they really love you and some part of them believes it, but deep down they kind of know that it's just, it's familiar to them. They don't want to be alone and they like the challenge and they want the money, they want the the stability, they want the familiarity, but it, it's not it's not about who you are as a person. It's not actually true love. You know what I mean? Um, so I think that you need to remember that too. If you guys do have an argument, or if you do have a falling out, if you do have this conversation, because like I said, this person's going to it, it's a challenge for them. So this person's gonna do everything to try to convince you that no, they really do love you and they really do want to change, and but you know better. You know something's off. If somebody hates the woods like their entire, I don't know why I'm getting the woods, but it's like, that's like an example. Like if somebody hates the woods their entire life, they're best believe they're not going to wake up one day and, and, like, and like going camping and like traveling because you like those things. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's fake. So you need to, to trust yourself, to trust your gut um, and to, to stay strong, to stay, you know, be in that emperor, emperor energy that we got, that uh, knight of swords energy. You know, be assertive and, and know better because this person might throw a huge dramatic fit. They might be crying. They might be telling you, you know, like, oh, like they're going to try to appear genuine and you need to be smart enough to, to, um, to remember how it was in the past with them and to, to see, to, to remind yourself that, you know, not to give into the loneliness because you know, it, it would be the same shit as before with them. But, um. But yeah, for some, it's like this person's trying to clear out the competition. Is there any, so I need to wrap this reading up. Are there any final messages about what this person's doing? And there could be other things that I didn't pick up that this person's doing too. So keep that in mind. And I might, you know, maybe, maybe I'll be intuitively led to do another reading on this. I do have to, I do have another reading I need to put up though about somebody that's in their head that needs to um, kind of ground themselves. So, so look for that reading too. Three of Swords, Two of Cups. Knight of Swords, Four of... Yeah, some of them might try to throw themselves a pity party and try to make you feel bad. Queen of Cups. Six of Pentacles. I hear, like, let them let him know it's going to be okay. So, like, some of you are, like, in your head and you're kind of upset about this, but honestly, like, you are supported and loved. Like, your spirit guides do want you to know that. Like I said, they're... they're this is kind of just a result of not listening to your intuition about this for a long time. Um, but you do have support and love around you. Like you do. This is just old energy clearing. This is, this is your spirit guides want toxic people out of your life. They want to clear the way so that you can have love and, and abundance and happiness in your life. They don't want you to be around people that are using you or that are draining you or that, you know, only want you when they can't have you they want you to be around people that actually do love you so it's it's not you know it's kind of saying like 
um, you know, everything would be fine. Like it's, it's just a process you're going through. You're going through a major life transformation and you just kind of have to go through it and be patient with yourself. But it's actually a really good thing. It's a blessing in disguise here. Yeah, because you're becoming the emperor. Um, any more final messages about this? Three of Swords, Death, Four of Pentacles, Temperance. Page of Swords, Tower. Yeah, this is all leading you to be the King of Pentacles. It's a good energy. It's it's leading you to become the person that you want to be. It's not a bad thing. Um, I feel like this person is holding on. Like I feel like she's just really holding on to this this situation. She's trying to find that balance, but it's not going to work. Because you know better now and you know you don't want this. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're making the choice to go towards your true love or towards abundance, towards happiness. Ten of Pentacles is it's everything. It's it's career, it's abundance, it's it's financial success. Ten of Cups, um, love, uh, family, just just support, just this is these are like two of the best cards you can get. And Seven of Cups is someone making a choice. So it's like you're choosing to go towards this. You're choosing, you know that you can't have it with this other this other person. You know it's never going to happen. So you're choosing to do the inner work, Eight of Pentacles, studying and taking the time to go towards, you know, this Queen of Wands, this person that you actually do really want, the Chariot. Yeah, Two of Cups. So Five of Swords. So the cards are kind of reminding you that you do have true love. Like you do have love. Whether you've met the person, some of you have met this person and you know who they are already. Some of you haven't met this person, but it's just kind of a reminder that like, you know, you do have like your actual person out there, whether you've met them or not. Um, so don't give into the loneliness and go for someone that you don't actually really want, you know? Yeah, this person's going to try to pull you back in though, and they're going to try to pretend. Yeah, but I think the Emperor and the Queen of Cups... Yeah, you're going to be strong because you want this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is somebody that's emotionally mature, emotionally open, someone who's romantic, someone who's gentle. That's the energy that you want. Um, so I think that you're being strong and I think it's saying like stay the course and go after what you actually want. Don't give in to, uh, to loneliness or to sexual temptation or towards um, to this person's manipulation or... Um, to fear or whatever, the, whatever energy this is, don't give into it. Don't give into, don't, don't be hasty. Don't give into, don't give into that energy in the moment. Go after the, the, what you really want here. You know, go after what you really want. Pursue what you really want. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys. I will try to keep the reading shorter in the future it's just a lot of information that wanted to come out there <laughs> um but again i think you know i maybe maybe more messages i mean maybe that energy group maybe that will continue but i feel like for most of you i feel like it might not because i feel like you might just wrap it up you might get this message and you might it, it's probably confirming what you already intuitively know and i feel like some of you are just going to wrap it up you're going to wrap that cycle up and you're going to be like you know what i'm done um, some of you do need to do some, it's not for everybody, but some of you do need to do some digging to find out how this person might have been holding you back and trying to block you from your person. Like, cause for some, I, I feel like for most of you, I don't think it was black magic. There could be for one or two of you, but I think for most, it might just be in the community. Like this person saying things or this person trying to just this general energy, this person trying to isolate you. And trying to make you feel reliant on them. Um, and trying to basically trying to make you feel lonely and trying to make you give into that loneliness and um, act like in the spur of the moment. Like they're trying to get you 
They're, they're trying to manipulate you into getting caught up in the moment with them and just kind of giving in. Um, and again, I don't think this person's like a horrible person. I don't think it's like this evil person that's out to get you. I just think this is somebody who's very empty, very insecure and, um, you know, just, just doesn't really know themselves. Um, but yeah, your spirit guides are saying, you know, they, they want you to feel supported. They want you to know that they do love you, that they are supporting you. They want you to be brave and be strong and go through these life changes and go through this transformation and, you know, open up to, to letting go of the toxic people. They're not trying to isolate. They don't want you to be isolated. They don't want you to be alone. They're just trying to clear the way. They're trying to clear toxic people out of your life so that you can have, you know, good people. You're, you're realigning yourself. Basically. You're not, you're not resonating with the toxic people anymore. You're not resonating with being used for your money or being, um, in these shallow relationships or whatever else it might be, you're, you're resonating, you're, you're ascending, your, 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 your vibration is, is raising, you're, you're resonating with, um, your, your life is changing, you know what I mean? Like you're resonating with, uh, deeper ideals, with, with true love, with abundance, you're, 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 you know what I mean? Like you're taking the steps to change your life. So, so it's, it's a good thing. It's just, you're, you're, you're in the clearing process right now, which is a little bit stressful at times. It's a little bit painful at times, but it, it's ultimately a good thing because it, it's like, you're, you're being realigned. You know what I mean? Like you're not resonating with people like your exes from the past. You're resonating with, um, you know, mutual love, mutual support, uh, just better friendships, better, you know, career, uh, relationships, just everything in general. And, and so you're being realigned, you're in kind of like almost a, like that in between period where the old energy is clearing and this new energy is manifesting and you're going, you know, you're pursuing your dreams, you're pursuing the things that resonate with you, you're pursuing, um, you're becoming the person you want to be and you're being guided to, develop your intuition and become your true self and go through these these huge life changes this transformation and go after the the things that you want and align and you're being you know realigned with the things that you want so so yeah it's lonely at times through the, through the transformation process but ultimately it's it's going to be a really good thing like you're going to be really happy and supported in the long run and you're going to look back and you're going to see why things had to happen the way that they did so it, it's kind of saying because I feel like you know some of your spirit guides know that this is going to be hard for you so they're just saying that you are supported and that you are loved and just you know keep going through this process trust the process basically go through this transformation um go after what you want in life basically you know what I mean just keep realigning yourself and keep keep a uh, you know leveling up and becoming you know who you want to be and doing what you want to do basically um anyway i hope this helped you guys uh as always i do private readings so if you'd like a private reading just send me an email the email is dragon enchantress at aol.com and that email is below in the description box thank you guys for watching